Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using only my mum's makeup, which hopefully won't go too bad because a lot of the stuff that she has I've either told her to get, brought her, or like given her if I didn't want it. So I don't think her stuff isn't that bad, so I think it will go okay. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But let's get started and see how this turns out. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply foundation and my mum uses the Dior Skin Nude Skin Glowing Makeup hmm. in the shade 020 or 020. So yeah, it's a lot darker than my skin. I'm very pale as you can see right now and my mum is a little bit more tan than me so I think it's going to look a little bit orange. I'm using my own uh, sponge because I think it's a little bit unhygienic if I use hers. Like, she does have one because I brought her one. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to use my sponge. So, I'm just going to put a few pumps on the back of my hand and then do it like that because I don't want to waste loads of makeup because this is quite expensive. Hmm doesn't look too dark right now but it's not really spreading I feel like it's bringing out all of my um, blemishes like you can see all the little pores and my mum doesn't have primer so I couldn't like prime my face or anything I don't think it's too dark I think it would be fine if I had a tan but it's not really, it's not my like skin match. Yeah, it's definitely bringing out like all of my pores. Like you can see all of my pores really well. I don't think it looks that bad, but my mum doesn't have concealer. She doesn't use concealer for some reason. So like it would be fine. I feel like it would be fine if I had, you know, concealer under my eyes and like around my nose and stuff to just cover up those like blemishes and stuff. It's like sitting in my like creases on my forehead, which is not good because normally when that happens with my foundation, I'll bake and then it will just like not happen. But my mum doesn't bake, so she just has like normal powder. So yeah, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use her powder brush and this I bought her for like her birthday or Christmas or something like that, so it's the same one that I use. But for her powder... She uses the Rimmel London Clear Complexion Radius Clarifying Powder in the shade Translucent. So I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any creases and then I'm going to apply powder like under my eyes and everything. No, it's literally just going to sat in the crease in my eye. I probably shouldn't put it on my eye. I feel like it's really dark. I don't know whether you can see, but on my hand it's like a completely different shade. I don't understand why I'm so pale, because my mum is quite tanned, and my dad is quite tanned, and I'm just like this. Like, me and my brother are so pale, it's ridiculous. I always have been as well, like, when I go on holiday I don't tan at all, really. Like, if I go for, like, two weeks, then maybe I'll get a little bit of a tan. If I go for a week, there's like no chance, literally. And I can't be asked to put fake tan on all the time, so but I'm just constantly pale. Not gonna lie, I feel like that looks a little bit better. Because I feel like it's put a little bit of another layer on. I don't really know. Like, um, you can't really see my pores as much. And my little tiny spots and blemishes. So, for my mum's eyebrows, she uses... There's a fucking arrow in front of the screen. She uses um, this Clarins eye pen, just this Clarins eye pencil in 01 dark brown. And it has a little like spoolie thing or whatever it's called, and it's quite dark to be honest. But funny thing is, I used to use this because she used to buy this me when I was like year seven, year or something like that so she's been using this for years like as long as I can remember she's always used like Clarins eye pencil this is so shit I can tell I've just done one 
stroke and I can't do, I can't, literally can't use eye pencils anymore. I use powder or that's it, I just use powder. So, <sighs> it's so dark. This is so hard. I'm not even over exaggerating. Like, I literally can't do this. How does she do this every day? Like the, the end of the pencil is like really thick and I have used the MAC eyebrow pencil, I don't know what it's called. I used to use that and it was like a really thin pencil at the end and I would, used to be able to like get raw eye in like and use little like brush like strokes. And this is just really thick, it's like an eyeliner pencil so I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but I feel like my eyebrows look really, really dark. Like, I'm looking in the viewfinder and they're really dark. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is my eyes. And my mum doesn't really do a lot to her eyes. All she really does is put some, like, brown eyeliner on, like, her lash line. And then she puts mascara on. And, like, she smudges it out and all that lot. And it's just, like, her look. Everyone knows that she does that. She does have a few eyeshadow palettes by a few I mean only two and they're two that I gave her and brought her I gave her this because I went to uh, the clothes show and brought it and then I didn't like it so I gave it to her and then I bought her this for Christmas and um, yeah so I can do eyeshadow and I'm going to do eyeshadow but she gave me this <laughs> and it's like uh, it's, it's so old, it literally looks like ancient, I'm sorry mum, but it does, and it's from Rimmel, I can make that bit out, and it's like, uh, she says that it's um, like eyeshadow primer, but she says that she doesn't really use it, so um, I looked at it and it looks minging, so that is not going to be used today. So my mum has two eyeshadow brushes and they are like pretty much the exact same and they're like fluffy brushes but they're like slanted. I don't know how this is really going to go because they're slanted and I've never used these before hence why I gave them to her. So I'm going to start off by putting the lightest shade in this Revolution palette on my eyelids. Oh shit. And this will make it lighter because obviously the foundation was too dark for me so I don't want the eyeshadow to be really dark so this will set it and make it lighter okay so next thing i'm going to do is put like a mixture of that and that and two colors in my crease because i feel like they're the sort of lightest shades okay so the next color i'm going to use is one of these darker ones it's a little bit dirty but one of these dark ones at the end so, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just like, oh shit, I just broke it. I just broke the side. Oopsie, sorry mum. I'm just putting it on my like outer V and then just like blending it in to the corner. The inner corner. Hmm. Hmm. it's not really blending out with this bloody brush I'm going to use this uh, W7 toasted eyeshadow palette which I gave her and I'm going to use this like copper shade here actually no I'm not I'm going to use the one next to it that one hmm. I don't really know if you can see that very well in the mirror you can sort of see it, but it's a little bit light. Next thing I'm going to do is mascara, and I know people say it's like really unhygienic to share mascara, but I don't really care, she's my mum, and yeah, I'm probably just going to take it off straight away <laughs> anyway. I actually told her to get this mascara, because I use it like every day and it's really good, but she uses the waterproof one, and I don't really like that one. I, I feel like it doesn't really sit on my eyelashes very well, so we're going to see how this turns out. I definitely feel like she needs a new mascara because it's like quite clumpy. I think it's because it's dry now. It's quite clumpy on my eyes and it doesn't look very nice. I don't know if you can see, but okay. So my mum doesn't have any 
bronzer or blusher or anything like that she doesn't use that so this is pretty much it except from we have a few lip glosses that she gave me to use i think i might use this one even though it's quite pink i don't feel like it will come out like that on my lips oh my god that is literally bright pink I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully that would blend in. That looks absolutely awful. Sorry, man. Oh my God, that's made my lips so chap now. Literally. I'm just going to use some lip scrub because that is not nice. I need to get all the chap stuff off my lips. Okay, they're still chapped, but I'm going to put this one on instead because I feel like that might cover it up more because it's a little bit darker. Hmm, that's actually well nice. So this is the completed makeup look using only my mum's makeup and I don't feel like it's that bad. I feel like it's turned out alright considering the foundation is a lot darker than I would use, usually wear and I wouldn't go out like this because you can see the line on my neck unless I would wear it if I've got a tan but I don't really tan that often. My eyebrows are alright, I don't feel like they look that bad so I feel like it's turned out pretty well considering I didn't have any proper brushes or anything like that and I haven't got any like bronzer, blusher, highlighter etc. So thank you for watching this video, if you enjoyed it please give it a like and subscribe to my channel because it would really help me out as it gives me more confidence that I know like people like it out there and I plan on doing a lot more videos, I, I know that I haven't really been that productive but I want to be more productive in the new year. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.